Hey there, welcome to day 2,496 of What You Have to Know. I know, lots of days, right? Lots of days in a row talking about what's working, what's not working, the good, the bad, the ugly. Today we're going to talk about the good, I think. It's Thanksgiving, always a great day to appreciate what's working in our lives. And our topic for today for No Nonsense November, tip and tool number 28 is practicing forgiveness. Now, normally I talk about being grateful and thankful and a gratitude practice or a Thanksgiving practice. Uh, sharing something that we're grateful for on Thanksgiving Day. But this year we're talking about practicing forgiveness because we already talked about it as tip number eight this month for No Nonsense November. So today we're looking at forgiveness. And to me, the primary focus isn't on so much on forgiving the other person or the other party or the party that harmed us as it is letting go of and forgiving ourselves for the part that we played in that. And you might be saying, well, I'm the victim here. I didn't play a part in this. But guess what? You just said the part you played. I'm the victim here. Playing the victim, being the victim, allowing yourself to be the victim is something that you need to decide that you're not going to do anymore and to forgive yourself for doing in the past. We've all we've all been in a situation where we've been the victim, right? Victim of prejudice, victim of mistreatment, victim of actual harm, victim of somebody taking advantage of us or our good nature or our business or our kindness and that feels rotten but the only way we can be a victim is if we choose to participate that way and sometimes it's hard to take that personal responsibility knowing that we play a role in every interaction that we have and they happen to show us something maybe they happen to show us that we are letting other people walk all over us we're not setting boundaries we talked about that a couple of days ago as well so today as a way of practicing forgiveness, we talked about it in Supersize Your Business for our businesses because almost every business owner I've ever talked to or ever been involved with has in some way, shape, or form been harmed by somebody else, somebody else uh, or something else or some competitor, etc. And the only way you can be harmed by them is if you allow yourself to be harmed by them. There's always a solution, right? We learned that as being problem solving. We are a problem solving family. We say that all the time in my family because we can focus on the problem and whine and complain and think things are going to change. I mean, geez, just go through your social media stream. There's plenty of that going on. And how's that working out for people? You know, five years from now, you're going to look and the same exact people are going to be whining and complaining online because they're playing the victim. And there's, there's attention in that for them. And so part of Dealing with forgiveness is paying attention to and being empathetic to the other person and trying to understand, well, why are, why are they acting that way? Why did they do that? Why? And we might not ever understand the why by putting ourselves in other people's shoes. We have at least a modicum of understanding. Doesn't mean we accept or tolerate or will ever tolerate that type of behavior in our lives again. It just means we understand where it came from. And maybe it's not healthy. Maybe there's, you know, maybe they're a narcissist. Maybe there's something wrong with them. Maybe they're entitled. Maybe they think they deserve to, to hurt other people. Uh, and you just happen to be the next person on their victim list. Uh, but we need to just remember to forgive ourselves for the our part in that. Because as soon as we stand up and we say, I'm not going to be bullied. I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to let this destroy my business or my life or my emotions, I'm going to take back my personal power and control and say, okay, that just happened. Now what? What are we going to do now? And and we just stand up and we get up and we, we do the next right thing for ourselves. That's what we do because that's part of being resilient and forgiving ourselves. So we don't make the same mistake again. I don't know about you, but have you ever made the same mistake more than once? I sure have. Uh, or, you know, had a bad partner and then picked another bad partner. I'm talking about business partners. Uh, totally different, totally different ball game, but just bad in a different way, which helped me after I finally forgave myself for picking another bad partner to learn the lessons of all of the things that we need to look for and the things I need to do to protect myself and my businesses from selecting and getting involved with the wrong type partners, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. All right. Thanksgiving, I'm going to go do some cooking. The only thing I made yesterday to prep for Thanksgiving was brownies with my uh, middle granddaughter. And so today we have a whole slew of cooking to do. And it's right up my alley. I absolutely love to cook and bake. So I'm going to go have a very fun day. And then I'm going to top it off with enjoying all of the things that I make with my family. 
If I can help you in any way, ask. I'll be in the kitchen cooking, so you're welcome to interrupt me. <laughs> Have an awesome day, a happy Thanksgiving, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow for Black Friday. Have a great day.